The next generation crawler is a seabed mining machine that travels across the ocean floor and collects diamonds. It then pumps up these diamonds like a vacuum cleaner onto the recovery vessel, which is the Benguela gem for onboard processing. These machines will deliver a 20% increase in mining rate and a 30% improvement in pump life, redefining operational capability and resilience at sea. Control because it's a remotely controlled vehicle or subsea vehicle. We have this yellow wire that's running that's connected to the crawler, and that's basically to control to control the crawler remotely. Um, and that's basically how the crawler works. And the one is about the new generation crawler is 370 tons. Our previous generation crawler was 297 tons. That's that's in excess of 100 tons heavier. The crawler itself, in terms of power requirement, basically the dredge motor requires about 3.4 megawatts of power to basically run the dredge pump. The machine is expected to recover around 80,000 natural marine diamonds annually. This 20% production that you see here was a you know, If you look at 80,000 carats, you know, a small vessel produces about 80,000 carats. So you have to say, do we build a new vessel to get 80,000 or do we improve? current vessel to get 80,000. So those are things that we always look at. How do we get more carrots? Improving the current technology or getting new technology? The crawler complies with the Deb Marine Namibia's environmental policies and are environmental friendly. But, but the exciting and good thing, at least, at least in terms of our um, extraction, diamond extraction, um, we, we don't really dig big holes. Um, if anything, what we disturb is about 0.5 meters. Um, and 90% of what we agitate and bring up, we, we throw back again. We, we don't need it. Um, we don't have, we don't have uh, heavy chemicals or anything. It's, 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 it's a friendly process, to be honest. The next generation crawler was built in-house by Deb Marine Namibia and replaces the old generation Mafuta crawler and it is expected to be deployed at sea end of September. Chilana Fuka, NBC News, Cape Town, South Africa.